everyone, it's Saturday and it's 8 o'clock at night. I didn't vlog today. I was just chilling out in bed all day. And then we went out at the last minute with our friends to dinner. And so we went to training table and I had a hamburger and cheese fries. And then we all went to the Dollar Tree. Woo! Holla! So I'll probably do a little haul in the closet tonight. I don't know. <laughs> Give me something to vlog about for today. So yeah, we're on our way home right now. I've crocheted about four washcloths today. <laughs> but it's fun. It was another hot one. What was it, like 90? Ugh. So it's going to be hot for the whole week. High 80s at least. Yeah, high 80s, low 90s. Hi! <laughs> Nana, where's your sissy? Oh, get it, sissy! Sleepy kitties. Hey everyone, welcome to closet time. Now this, I believe, will be the shortest vlog I've ever done. I'm just straightening you out. You know how I have you hanging on my shoe. Anyway, it is quarter to nine. Yeah, I wasn't going to vlog today because I just had the worst anxiety. I started thinking about things. You know, I do that. I will think about things, dwell about things, stress over things, and then I panic and then I cry. So I had a breakdown today and I cried for about half hour or more and it was really hard and when I get this way and feel this way I really do feel hopeless and I panic and I can't breathe and I just feel like I want to die but what good will that do anyone so I wasn't gonna vlog today and then at the last minute well, Daryl and I hadn't eaten anything all day, and so we were going to go get something to eat, and then at the last minute, our friend and his wife needed Daryl's help with moving a washer and dryer to our friend's son's new condo, so we, because they were storing the washer and dryer in our garage, so we went over to his new condo, helped him deliver all that, and then we were hungry, and decided to go out to dinner. So we all went to trading table together. It's a hamburger place and it's so yummy. And it was just really fun to get out and stuff our face. I was starving, oh my gosh. And then right after that we went to Dollar Tree because there's a Dollar Tree right next door and it's a nice one. And they had all sorts of fun stuff. But I didn't go crazy. I only bought one bin, just one of those flexible collapsible ones. They didn't have extra large ones. They only had the small cubes and they were like red and orange and green. I didn't want that. And so they had one tan little size box so I got that. I already have two already but anyway so instead of an actual Dollar Tree haul I'm just gonna do it in closet time tonight as part of today's vlog. How's that? Right. Momo was just here. I just, the air conditioner's on and I'm freezing to death and the vent is right there. So, first of all, we got Stars and Stripes Limeade. I don't know, Daryl thought this looked pretty good and he was going to put it back and I said, no, just get it for a dollar, why not? So, it's probably just a nice sugar punch drink that tastes like lime. So when I taste this, I'll let you know how it 
how it tastes. So we got that. Daryl had to have two more of his sour gums. Oh my gosh. He just ate like two packs the other night. He still has two packs left. Then we bought two more. He's gone through so many of these, but he loves them. And then he also found some more readers. He gets his readers at the Dollar Tree. So he likes these black ones. The ones that he had, he only has one pair of these really nice black ones from the Dollar Tree and the frames are a lot thicker and different. We can't find them anymore. And they fit his face and he looks so good in them. These are the little scrawny ones and they don't fit the shape of his face. They're like small. So they're not my favorite. But he just wears them to read and keep in his car and keep in every room in the house and keep it work and keep in my purse so yeah anyway we got him some more readers and he also bought himself a pair of sunglasses but they're in the car he didn't have any sunglasses and they're just for when he needs them they're not very dark though which explains why they're a dollar because I look through them and I'm like these are very dark they're not gonna really do anything but whatevs and then he got himself a Milky Way and I got myself a regular Hershey bar. I've been craving just plain old Hershey's chocolate lately. Not even with almonds, just plain old Hershey's chocolate. So I got that. And then I got a bunch of wipes. I got some furniture wipes. I'm gonna try these out. Um, this is fresh lemon scent, I don't know. I'm always having to vacuum my furniture before I dust because when I dust even with even with a Swiffer duster, Swiffer wipes, pledge, anything, a cloth, a lot of the dust comes off but it just moves over to the side and sticks to the edges of the furniture and I hate that. I don't under, understand why. It never did that in the 70s. I don't know. Why does it do that nowadays? I don't know. So I decided to try these. I'm sure they're not going to be anything major or wonderful, but whatever. I'm just getting it. Um, I got the electronic wipes. I hear a lot of people say that these are really good when they haul them. So I decided I'm going to try them. I'm going to use them on my keyboard upstairs that I work on. I don't think that's ever, 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 ever been cleaned ever. Or the computer screen. And this will be nice for TVs phones, whatever, so, yeah. And then, at the last second, I got the multi-surface wipes, so I don't really need these at all, but they were just staring at me, so I bought them. Because I like to use a washcloth, and I'll use my Mr. Clean spray, or whatever, but, oh well. These will be handy. I'll, I can maybe keep these in my bathroom and wipe up the sink with them. Even though I do have Lysol wipes for that. I don't know. Whatever. I just don't know. So I'll put that back. And then so here's the other bag, the other box I got. They only had one of these and they only had one in this color. So I grabbed it. Size B. These are actually quite handy. I like them, especially for yarn and whatnot. <laughs> I got my dad a roll of scotch tape. Well, it's not scotch tape. I got him some tape. I did first get the scotch tape, but the scotch tape, there was hardly any in it. This is way more tape for a dollar, even though I know this is, you know, not the greatest quality tape, but he doesn't need anything major. And this had more in it, so I got this one instead. I used my noggin. And then the rest of what we got are videos. They actually had a whole bunch of dollar videos. And Terrell's like, there's a reason why they're it, there's there's a reason why they're a dollar, I guess, because all the movies were like totally stupid. <laughs> so anyway, we just got these for the cabin because the only way we can watch TV is if we watch a movie. So um, I just let Daryl choose. 
So he got Dolph Lundgren in the name of the King 2. So I'm wondering if there was a part one. I don't know, but Dolph Lundgren? Yeah. So we got that. Um, the Joneses. Demi Moore. David Duchovny. We'll see if that's any good. He picked out Dark Kingdom, the Dragon King. I'm like, Daryl, come on. This is like King, the Thrones, King of Thrones or whatever on HBO. Or This is like his D&D stuff. He loves this kind of thing. I don't. But whatever. Who is that? It looks like I don't know. Kind of looks like the guy from the Hardy Boys. Remember him? Okay. American Crude. I don't know. I, I don't think I've seen this, but it looks pretty good. It's got Rob Schneider, Ron Livingston, Jennifer Esposito, and Michael Clark Duncan. Aw, he died. So yeah, this looks like it'll be really funny. And the last one is The Hunters. I don't know what that's about. But anyway, anything's good. Anything will be nice at the cabin when you don't have anything to watch, you know? So for a dollar, let's do it. Oh, and then I got my stepdad a bag of, a box of diaper throwaway bags. <laughs> um, I don't know, he likes these for his cat box. Like when he scoops the poop, he likes to put it in this, like in one of these. There's 75 bags. I bought these once, but my poop scoop is too wide, and I couldn't fit it in the the bag. The bag isn't very wide at all. It's just for a little diaper. So I couldn't put the poop in there. So I just use grocery sacks, but he really likes to use these, so I picked him up a box of poo sacks. And I'm actually going to go see them tomorrow, so he will get a nice surprise. So, yeah, that's my Dollar Tree haul in the closet. My unofficial Dollar Tree haul. Anyway, I am tired. I've got the worst headache, and I'm sleepy, and I'm tired. Um, I'm ready for bed. So tomorrow, I don't know how much I'll really get to vlog. I will vlog tomorrow, but... Um, we're going to my mom's tomorrow and my stepdad's house because they have this huge garden and they are growing sugar peas and they grow snap peas too, I think. But the peas right now, I think, are the ones that you shell and you eat the peas out of them. You don't eat the whole thing. And, um, they, they need to be picked. And if I want some, I have to go pick them. So... At 2 o'clock, Daryl and I are going to go up there and pick peas, and it's going to be like 90 degrees, scorching hot, sun beating down on us while we pick peas. I'll probably pass out in the peas. I'm going to pass out in the pea patch. Ugh. Anyway, so, and then we'll just stay for a few hours, and then we're going to go to Costco or Sam's Club, pick up some stuff, and that'll be that. That's our day tomorrow. So, yeah, not too thrilling, and I I, can't, I probably won't be able to do too much vlogging at my mom's because my stepdad hates technology. So we'll see. Anyway, at least I got all the laundry done today. I started it last night, and I finished it today. That's a good thing. So tomorrow I'm just going to sleep in in the morning and then go pick peas. So I hope you have a wonderful night, everyone. Oh, and I want to tell you. So I totally made some more washcloths because I'm hooked. And it relaxes me. Crocheting relaxes me. It took the stress off. So this is what I decided to do. I am going to start crocheting blankets for animal shelters. So I'm just going to make smaller ones, like baby blanket size. And... Just gonna go buy some cheap yarn, crochet a big old blanket square, and I'm gonna do several, and I'm just always gonna donate them to the Humane Society. So that's what I'm gonna do.
and I can't wait. So tomorrow we're going to go to Walmart and pick up some yarn and I'm going to get started. So anyway, that's the plan, Stan. So I hope you have a wonderful night and I hope you had a great weekend. Tomorrow Sunday, so it's still kind of the weekend. And yeah, I hope you have a great sleepy. And we will see you tomorrow, everyone. Good night.